here we are embarking on the old uh, 1968 Lotus Cortina, which is basically being refurbed and fannied up. First job is to get the bonnet off because uh, she's rather scabby underneath, it should be matte black and it's all been rubberized. And all these um, pieces inside here on the tops of the wings are being stripped to bare metal and uh, sorted out. So we've got a very nice engine bay. Next. So we'll um, whip these uh, hinges off. Gives us full access here. Because these have been welded before and um, we want to dress all this so that the finish on it is the same as the outside of the bodywork. As you can see it's peeling and flaking. Looks like it's been painted with emulsion paint. <laughs> anyway, onward and upward. There we go. That's given us a bit more clearance. The original specification of this bonnet was that they were matte black on the inside. As you can see, this is a, a combination of colours. have been sprayed white and all sorts. It's also been rubberized, um, which wasn't the original spec. But what we'll do is we'll um, remap black it all and we'll put a, a sheeny finish on the rubber. Basically re rubberize it and tidy it up with the modern equivalent so it's nice. But basically, uh, this is what's letting it down all this lot. All needs to be crisp. Meanwhile, back at the ranch, here's our nicely restored matte black bonnet, which we've re-rubberized and sprayed. And it's all uh, descaled all the hinges and sprayed it all matte black, primed it and matte blacked it. So it's looking a bit more respectable now. When that goes back up, so we're just in the process of removing all the close fitting cables. Uh, we're not disconnecting them, save for a few air straps. Um, what we've uh, found is a hell by a seat is a cable ties, little cable ties. It's not exactly Ford actually, they used to have a grey a grey um, retaining clip over them. Might be worth trying to get them for authenticity if we can. Owners Club might do them. Um, rather than cable ties, but anyway, it's only a small point. Uh, you can see where the new um, welding's been done here on the top uh, Macpherson strut plates have been welded on. Now our job here is to, uh, here's the original edge of the Macpherson strut cap. And what we're trying to do is to make this section all the way around, whatever the weld, look like the original panel. Um, again, around the backs of these um, hinge retainers, there's a gap that shouldn't be there and basically tops of the wings we've got welds here which are in the wrong place so we'll have to be um, daffied it all up so all of this white is literally flaking off in fact on this side it can even come off with your thumb so that's going to have to come off anyway so here we are on with the uh, feathering back of the um, welds and all of this horrible paint uh, to proper descaling job, I'm afraid. The only way we can really do it by hand. Um, we're feathering back all these paint edges, getting rid of all this material. Uh, as you can see, there's a Daytona yellow second hand wing been welded on here, which is the reasons why you've got these mucky welds down here. It was all filled with sea elastic behind here, about half an inch thick which is no good because it's not really paint friendly and so what we're going to do is we're going to concentrate on this area first get this all smooth and filled properly with the spot welds in and then uh, just keep working backwards uh, it's quite laborious but the only way to do it next well, here we are just making up these edges and seams again so that the contours are all forward um, again you see you've got a notch here out of the wing which is factory spec and this is all uh, plates removed and back to 
the original contours here, which we'll uh, sand off shortly. We'll just bring this wing edge now here back up because that step edge should be squared off. Well, there we have a pretty straight Matfiesen strut with all the joins done. Next. Well, a nice uh, flattened block with some um, fine abrasive and then a good old varnish and uh, certain areas of the paint that we can revive. Anyway, looking good. Nice and original, not. 